I had the opportunity to meet Priest Kailash when he came to Jamaica to do some presentations, so I thought it was only right to pay my visit at the Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center while I was in St. Lucia. Come here, Papa. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hmm? Security? What's going on? Bless. How are you doing? Yes. There with the legendary Prince Kailash get a tour. Oh. Yeah, I have some time, eh? Okay. Basically, the whole of up here is um, upgraded. Oh, so that means good. That everything is solar. Nice. You know, um, our water is basically underground spring water. Mm-hmm. So, you have the baths there. Eh? Oh, nice. Good bath right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. My underground water that pulls it up. That's the kitchen. Real Rastafari I live in this. Mm -hmm. So this here is like clean. Yeah. So what? Normal so we have so we bake inside of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you have the ancient cooking methods, wood fire, and then you have the modern. So how long you been um, a Rastafari? From probably I was that's from the year two, 1999, 1999. What made you become a Rasta? I always wanted to be Rastafari. It's, it's um something that I just knew I wanted to become, and I wanted to become a doctor and a Rastafari. Oh, you got involved in the herbal medicine. Yeah, I wanted to be a, a doctor. Oh, you wanted to be a medical doctor? Medical doctor, right? After, well, Rastafari and medical doctor. So from the time that I was a baby, like, I can remember myself, and I cannot get consciousness, I always wanted to be a Rastafari. I always knew I'd be Rastafari. But I, I said, well, oh, when I have more, my, all my money and have everything I need, I'll become Rasta because Rasta get fight. <laughs> 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 but I had a rude awakening probably in 1998-99. I left college at 98, you know, and then yeah, I taught. And while I was teaching, I got a rude awakening with an accident. Mm -hmm. Right, and then from, I never cut my hair afterwards. Okay. Yeah, so then probably the year 2001, I went to medical school in Cuba. And then I left Cuba after three years and I went to the American University of the College of Medicine, General Medical School. I graduated in 2005. And from that, I had my first office in Antigua. Then I moved down here in 2006-2007. You know, so I had offices in Rodney Bay. You know, Rodney Bay, the city, down Beaufort, Dominica, you know, Antigua. So I used to be going to the islands, the Eastern Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And then the year 2015, 2015, I I stopped everything and I come up here. I bought that, I bought this property in 2015. I moved up here in probably 2016. You know, so I was staying up here up on the top for about uh, six years. So that development here is about a six to seven years development. Okay. Everything that we have we have done here. So hair was created out of the need of saying, well, you know, just creating a space whereby um, people could come and rejuvenate, you know. So I didn't want to have the same four walls like the um, hospital, mm -hmm. right? So we just said, well, definitely we're going to create a space where you have fresh air, fresh water, you know, no um, electricity from outside, you know, fully ecologically sustainable birds. You know, everything to the full work. So it took some time because here was like forest. Okay. Yeah. So they had no road. The road you, you drove up, they had no roads. Mm -hmm. so we had to build all the roads. We had to do everything. everything. Put in a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, man, this is a lot of work. So on top there is the, we have a processing facility. Mm -hmm. where we process our herbs and we have some cottages up on that side too, on the bottom floor. And the middle floor is the third level is where we are just finishing the infrastructure for the school. Okay. So we do have us. We do have what you call the the, the Mon Kela School School of Esoteric Herbal Knowledge. Okay. That presently we are doing a course. 
you know, um, level one course to be a herbal physician. And then... You have to be here physically or can you do it online as so well as physically? We do 90% online, but the last 10 days of the course, they have to come down here. Okay. Yeah, because it is not just like ordinary herbs and you just see because when right. you do a quick diploma, no, no, no. no. So it, it, the reason we call it a herbal physician course is because... You do, you do every, most of the subjects that doctors do like physiology, anatomy, histology, embryology, pathology, pharmacology, right? We do all these different things. So when they come down here, they're going to do the practical aspects, how to examine the patient, how to use a microscope, and then they're going to have a client, probably with diabetes, how you treat them, how to do a tincture, how to do a poultice, how to do a fermentation, so how to do an, how to use an acupuncture needle, how to do copying therapy. So most of these things there, they'll have to learn firsthand. So they would need to be here for some time to actually really be able to represent the standards that we have. How long is the program? The program is basically like a five to six months program. Okay. Yeah. And they go on your website to register? Yeah, we have on, on our platform, uh, yeah, but it's on Thinkific. It's posted on Thinkific. Thinkific. Okay. Yeah, it is like an online school platform. Okay. Yeah. So up this way is where the area in so uh, we have some staff working on that side mm -hmm. and to the bottom here we have two cottages down at the bottom here view of what the Most of, our, most of the species would be something ah. looking like this, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, outside bath. Yeah, I like that concept. Yeah. And there's a meditation area. Okay. Top. You can come up. So, we can go up to the top. Mm -hmm. If you want to climb, you want. Okay. Walking around the property, you get an extreme sense of calm. Located in the pristine and peaceful mountains of St. Lucia, if you want to escape from the everyday realities and get back to center, I would definitely recommend Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center. You can get a lot of herbal preparations and a lot of vegan foods to bring your body back to homeostasis. We have at the top of the mountain. Oh, there's a trail that there's takes trail. you up. Yeah. It's all the way up. Mm -hmm. Normally, the brown hair, as you could see. You know, Farming? Yeah, but this, that's more like herbs. So, what they clean there is patchouli. Okay. Because, you know, like the patchouli herb, mm -hmm. that's for digestive problems. You have patchouli, mm -hmm. you have elderberry plants, you have cocoa, blue banana, you know, um, shadow benny. My favorite, shadow benny. Yeah, carpenter bush. So, just have everything here is organic, no chemicals whatsoever. And so this here is another this is the I call it the spaceship. Spaceship. <laughs> you got a spaceship? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a meditation space. So ah. you can have a yoga, a yoga platform to the top. Okay. No conference area, then you can have all the bottom going to be like diamond. So you farm, mm -hmm. you know, you up in the mountain, nice and private and, and fresh air, fresh, fresh, fresh food. And fresh water. Clean water. Yeah. Off the grid. Off the grid.